All right, you are still watching Ways Now. World Wetlands Day is annually held on February 2nd to celebrate how wetlands, which are lands saturated by water, help maintain biodiversity on Earth. Uh, we talk about all the climate change and all of those things. This is one day that we really must pay attention to because this is what keeps the Earth alive. This is what keeps, you know, uh, um, desertification away from us. It's, it's a whole works. I, I really, really must commend everyone that pays attention to caring for nature because these are the people that are keeping us alive. We don't even know it. Because if you notice how our climate is changing so fast, you see rains, the months where before you would not have expected rains and all of that. All these things all come together to, you know, to impact the, you know, the, the, the climate. So this is a very important day and we just want to appreciate all our uh, climate agents keeping this, the earth safe for us on this day. <laughs> Everybody's smiling. Who is, a, who is a nature lover here? Who is a climate? Ah, okay. All right. I love cranes. Mm. And when I still celebrate days like this, I then ask myself, you see why, how nobody's talking? We really don't know. People are not very educated about the environment. And it hurts me a lot because I remember when I was a child and we used to go to Babbage. I mean, it was such an exciting time seeing thinking or imagining that you know you can find sharks in that water you can find there's, there's, there's nothing like that mm. you know you take a child to the good beach now and all they are concerned about are the um, nice looking umbrellas and you know they don't even know what you know the environment means they don't know what it is to to care for the the what's it called now for the environmental factors and things like that. and i don't understand what is going on that's why the weather is so hot everything everything is impacting <laughs> So please, let's pay attention to our environment. Very, very key. All right, so ladies, who are we starting with? Let me start with you, Chinalo. Since you started, you continue. <laughs> okay, so when I was looking forward to share uh, some my <coughs> news, everything that I kept seeing was Naira scarcity, fuel prices. I just said, no, I don't want to dwell here. I want to find something that would at least, you know, humor us a bit. And so I found this. A man arranged for over stolen 2.4 million era sugar. Uh -uh. That was how Mitsa was like, uh -uh. what are these people talking about? Mm -hmm. Sugar, yes, yeah, sugar. <laughs> okay, so um, there was a man arraigned. Um, the police in Lagos have arraigned a 40 year old man, Lassisi Babatende, for allegedly stealing sugar valued at 2.4 million era. He was arraigned on February 1st, 2023, before a magistrate in Ogba. And he's facing two counts of aiding escape and theft, which were preferred against him by the police. And according to the prosecutor, it was read that around 5 p.m. he conspired amongst himself and some other people to aid one Chegwa Yorindi, that is a driver of GPC Energy and Logistics, to escape from the company. So they stole sugar, apparently. So the logistics company was supposed to transport sugar somewhere. And so he, he, was, he connived with the driver of the truck and then one other staff in the company, and then they stole Sugar worth 2.4 million naira. Okay. That's my worst. Maybe he might have off takers because with you, with you, I won't carry 2.4 million naira sugar. Do. He, he might have off, off takers that probably people that he will go and, go and sell, sell to. Sugar. Because mm. I don't understand. It's possible that he already had a ready market mm -hmm. and maybe he's been doing it before. Well, yes. You know, he just wanted to do a large quantity because I don't know what I want you sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me take your story, Jennifer, and come to you, Mary. Yeah. All right. So. Again, relating to Naira, customers lament as banks ATM dispense only 5,000 <laughs> and 2,000 Naira in Aquibon. So basically, this is the same thing that's been happening around, um, has been happening in Lagos. So now we're seeing that it's happening in Aquibon. I think it also happens in, in Abuja. But then this is quite different. So they said that yesterday when they joined um, team of Central Bank, Nigeria UM, UO branch, EFCC personnel, and ICPC were monitoring the disbursement of these notes. So they, they moved these guys to like 18 commercial banks in Aquaibom. So they'll stand there and then you will only withdraw 2,000 naira or 5,000. Instead, at the early hours of the morning, probably between maybe 8 to like 11 a.m., you could actually withdraw 5,000 naira. 
but towards afternoon they reduced it to two thousand. So that means the ATM would only dispense two thousand naira cash, and that's it. So if you want to take more than two thousand or you need twenty thousand, it means you have to go back to the line and then start all over again. Hey, you so you want twenty k, you do it twice. But then they are not even allowing you to do that mm-hmm. because these personnel are standing and they are watching you. So once you collect your two k, that's your two k. They will stamp you. Go. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are that's coming back to this matter, <laughs> Mary. <laughs> your story. <laughs> Um, Fire got a set of shops in Balogun Market today. This is very sad because I think it's about the third time in recent, from late last year, there's been several fires there. So I think they should look into the either the electric um, connections. connections in the shops because this is becoming too rampant. At some points, maybe the whole market is going to burn. People's goods have been lost, and I saw the you know. Video. That is just throwing out um, things. things. But how many things can you can you salvage? Can you salvage? You understand? So it's just really sad. Like something needs to be done. Over like we've had about three cases of this late last year. The same Balogo market. So I was I was going to say that in line with what you're saying about something being done, I think the market people it is very very pertinent now that they take insurance seriously because you know that these things will happen at least. Even if your goods go down, yeah, whatever it is, the sum amount that you insured for, you should be able to have some claims back, yeah, you know, because that thing is is like you rightly said, is 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 very rampant. It's almost like somebody so just rampant. goes and and sets so people's so uh, stores ablaze. And an election is coming. We don't know what. We don't even know where it's linking it yeah. to. But you know, you have been doing. <laughs> what is the home <laughs> about? <laughs> you don't want to know my take about this Balogun market fire. To be honest, really, don't okay. get me started with it. Because I feel like it's not ordinary. Hmm. I that's I strongly believe that so no year goes by without fire guts in yeah, my local markets. Sure. I'm starting to think that there's more to it. There's something we don't know. Hopefully somebody will do a movie one day. And then we'll find out what I might just think go. about I'll uh, take you up on that. <laughs> so talking in line with, you know, conversations, I just saw a video. There's no real story around it. Um, but there was a building collapse because just like fire. Mm. We've had several building collapses in this country. Um, there was a building collapse. A building that was under construction that had collapsed in Guarimpa area of um, Abuja. And it was reported that some workers were trapped. You could see the video of someone with so much dust. I think he just wiggled his way out. You know, um, some workers were trapped in the building. Because again, all of these things that we're talking about, right? These are the things that when we say that some things are really avoidable in this country and but it keeps happening repeatedly and it's almost like nobody's even willing to put a stop to yeah. it so that's what beats my so i'm not, I'm not able to 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 you know grasp the why why would this continue to happen right mm-hmm. um so are there um, um issues of standards so look at the block look at how it's looking you know mm-hmm. so are there issues of the standards nobody or maybe certification officers look at this guy you know, with all his dust all over him. So are there issues of certification that are not uh, properly um, mm-hmm. adhered to? Or are there issues approvals. of stand- uh, the approvals that are just shabbily given and you bribe your way through? So mm-hmm. what is the reason for building collapse? Is the same question we would ask for what is the root cause of fires? Because it is almost like no, now it's almost like every month yeah. we must hear issues of collapse or, uh-huh. or fire, you know. And these are people's livelihood, these are people's lives, mm-hmm. you know, that are just, you know, going just down the drain like that. So we need to really, we really need to check it. All right, so we want to talk this money matter. <laughs> My blood is hot. Hey, <laughs> God, we have me today. <laughs> when we come back from the break, right, we want to hear from you. We want to know what you're saying. How is this Naira scarcity affecting you? We just want to understand it today. Stay with us. We'll be right back.